Hi guys, so another, uh, another point is about authorial intent. Um, this is a lot more apparent in the Crucible than it is in Year of Wonders. Miller admits that the genesis of the Crucible was McCarthyism. If you don't know what McCarthyism is, I would definitely re-pause this podcast now and do a Google or uh, you know, search up a YouTube video of just what McCarthyism is. But a basic rundown is that there was Senator Joseph McCarthy around the 50s and basically that uh, fostering a fear of communism throughout American society and fearing that you know communism was taking over, especially throughout the media and Hollywood. And Proctor, as you know, a creative, this definitely affected him. And there were um, a lot of accusations about people being communist when they weren't necessarily communist. And, you know, that definitely shows how Proctor's play, The Crucible, is allegorical to what is happening in his time surrounding McCarthyism. I think there's, uh, there's two key players for this, which is Proctor's I May Speak My Heart, I Think, and Giles's More Weight. There are two lines from those two characters that reflect these contemporary refractions of Americans' uh, First Amendment rights, as well as the right to silence that HUAC prohibited. I think that um, it's quite easy to see that the innocents who are accused who are defenseless to the accusations, you know, how easily authority believes accusations and conclusions, how those who question that authority can face jeopardy, as well as the self-serving confessions encouraging authority's belief in the authenticity of conspiracy. I think those are both common themes to what was happening in 1950s America as well as in Salem. I think all this makes tangible to the audience that the analogy of McCarthyism is you know, quite well rooted in the crucible. Other important quotes for you know, this authorial intent and how, how you know, that kind of transcends time is that uh, social disorder in any age breeds such mystical suspicion and that Focus on, you know, that word, those two words, any age, is really key in this. So I hope, you know, I would definitely only use this idea for a fourth paragraph type of thing. I, you know, because it's not necessarily going to be relevant to absolutely every topic that you're given. So if, the, if you want to kind of include this in your fourth paragraph, I would do that. But otherwise, I wouldn't be necessarily jumping into this first paragraph but I hope it does give you a little bit of background and more interesting things to say about the crucible.